So I washed my hair last night. That's not normally something I do right before filming a video. So now every time I move, we just get this wobble. It's seriously just been like so intense. So I apologize in advance for my recoil. Oh. Now watching the first part of the Origins episodes really just made me curious, excited. It filled me with a need to know what is gonna happen. <laughs> Obviously I know that like Marinette's gonna keep her powers and you know go on to be Miraculous Ladybug the title of the show. But I feel like I'm about to get like a huge lore dump because it's the second part now you know things are Things are intense. Before we start though, I wanted to let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear over there if that's your thing. The link is in the description below and there's also a link to my Discord server. I hang out there a bunch, I love talking to y'all, but it's also a great place to meet people, make friends, do all that sort of thing too. So hopefully see you there. Why was I about to be like, and the first song is called? We're not doing that. There's no song, well, I mean, there might be a song. I don't know. I've heard songs in the MLB movie. I've also noticed that like nobody seems to call Miraculous MLB. Is that just me? In all of like my file names, I just call it MLB out of context. MLB Origins part one. But everyone just seems to call it Miraculous. Am I alone here? Maybe because it's too similar to MLP. Anyway, you know who cares, Matthew? Nobody. Hit play. <laughs> the stone beings are scattered all over Paris. And for the time How? being, they are showing- How many are there? Police have cordoned off a the lot. Area. We won't stop until we find a way to get these people back to their normal selves. But for now, we're not making much headway. <laughs> well, I mean, I know that's played off like a joke, but I mean, I'd, I'd appreciate that honesty, right? You know, it's like any leader being like, we're not going to stop until we do it, even though currently we don't know how. Ladybug and Cat Noir to save us all. Our lives depend on them. Listen, I know how upsetting and scary this is, but don't worry. <laughs> of course he doesn't know. There are two superheroes looking out for Paris, and the best way of helping them is to show them that we're not scared, because we trust them. <laughs> what if Ladybug fails? Then I'd come and save you. Super Baker <laughs> to the rescue! Her dad is just so lovely. But also, now I'm just wondering what the catalyst for her deciding, no, I will be a bug lady, is gonna be. Her room is incredible, I want it. Is that a sink? Is that, I, I haven't ever noticed that a sink in the middle of the room. Well, she's taking it with her at least. She changed her mind real quick. What's he doing? Adrian? Okay. <laughs> we both said Adrian at the same time. If anything has happened to my son, you'll be held responsible. Why? You were watching too, fam. Well, I guess you should have been watching. I've had enough of being shut up at home by my dad. I want to meet people and make friends. Go to a normal school like everyone else. Valid, valid. You know what's strange? He needs more cheese. It is this disgusting, rotten smelling camembert cheese. Why do you think it's smell like it 24 seven? Is Adrian saying that all camembert is like that, or is he qualifying it and saying that this specific camembert is like that because Bro, is it just me? I said before, camembert slaps. Uh, you know, I guess I wouldn't want to smell like cheese all the time. Definitely not. How much cheese is too much cheese? But camembert is not one of them cheese that's like stinky old and rotten. I don't even... I can't even think of what camembert smells like. If you want to be able to transform into a superhero, then stinky cheese is the deal, my friend. <laughs> what a strange sentence. The coolest superhero, Ladybug. There's How a... Awesome is that? There's a blog. <laughs> Oh, she made it. That makes a lot of sense. But what if she's not really cut out to be a superhero, even though everyone thinks she is? What are you talking about, girl? Oh, wait. I know what this is about. <laughs> You're scared, but don't be. I've seen her with uh, my own two eyes, girl. I guess with the benefit of knowledge, it's very, very easy for me to say, but I don't know, if I just knew one person walking around going on about how is she cut out for being a superhero? Oh man, she must be having a crisis. There is probably a small part of me that'd be like, well, the, the superhero's gotta be someone, huh? Is it, is it, it's you. Ladybug is a true superheroine. She's gonna protect us all. I believe in her. Oh, is that enough for her now? You were totally going ballistic. It was so cool. <laughs> Seriously out to crush me, dude. Yeah, how would they, like, I don't know, would there be any repercussions? I guess not. I guess everyone would assume that he was just acting because of that dark magic thing. But would the police be like, hey man, you're still, um, terrorized Paris? It wasn't myself. 
once a monster, always a monster. Oh, oh, so does that mean that you're always a monster? Oh, once a bitch, always a bitch, right, Chloe? Yes, feel the burn of those words. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's excited about him getting pissed off again. Is, Your father will be furious. Tell she's at the steps of the school again, trying to stop him from going in. Also, is he actually enrolled or is he just trespassing now? How could you say that to Ivan? You're the real Stoneheart. For real. I'm the one who broke Sabrina's dad's arm, am I? No, but you're the one that constantly decides to like say the meanest things to people. So like, yeah. I feel like if they went to do open heart surgery on you, they'd be like, what the f happened? Where there's... There's a black hole where her heart's meant to be. Hey, Chloe. <laughs> Adrikins, you can't. Uh, Adrikin, what? How do they know each other, though? I'll handle it. What are you gonna do? Like, pull them out of school by force? Oh, yeah, it's so sad. You know, He's trying to calm down. Come on, I saw the way you look at her. <gasps> No, no negative emotions, Ivan. Uh, what I mean is... <laughs> I'm no good with words anyway. But who needs words? You could draw her a picture, send her flowers... I was gonna say that it's nice that Marinette's here trying to like comfort him, be supportive and all that sort of thing. And like, yeah, you know, true. It's still good, but is she just doing it to make sure he doesn't get like sad and akumatized again? I could write her a song? That's a great idea. Oh man, I hope we get to hear him sing. <laughs> Negative emotions. They're fading. <laughs> <laughs> because of the power of Ladybug. Adrian, I'm a huge fan. Wow. This is your seat, Adrian. This would be such a weird dynamic to go to school in. Hey, Adrian. You're friends with Chloe then, huh? <laughs> hey, what's that all about? The brats that sat here yesterday need a little attitude adjustment. Oh my god. Uh, I think that's really necessary. Hey, okay, slay Adrian. Take it off. Culture Adrikins, watch the master. She is like the most self entitled person in this whole show. She's just so needlessly mean and for seemingly no reason. Wouldn't you like to be a superhero and go out and fight monsters and villains? Totally. I'm not scared of anyone. Why? Oh, no reason. I mean, yeah, I'm kind of here for that. Oh my god, he's gonna seem creepy. Oh no. Good job, you three. Very funny. No, no, I was just trying to take this off. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> is she just gonna sit in it anyway? Oh. You're friends with Chloe, right? Why do you <laughs> say that? Because she's clearly a bitch. Now, do you see what I mean about respect? Respe you she, she clearly doesn't respect you for that. What? Of course. He's the son of my fave fashion designer, Gabriel Lacrosse. Daddy's boy. Oh my god, she loves the. <laughs> I forgot that he was a fashion designer and that's why he's a model. But Marinette loves his dad's designs. Oh, that's, this is such a, ugh. I feel like every time I hear one more thing about this show, it just becomes this way more complicated web. Forget it. Why didn't you tell him it was Chloe's idea? I've he tried, but. I was a little kid. I know she's not perfect, but I can't throw her under the bus. She's like my only friend. It's not, it's not throwing her under the bus to like, she's throwing you under the bus, bro. You're like crawling out from under the bus by telling them that it was her. Oh no, I'm gonna be late. Ah, oh my God, that's terrifying the way you're standing there. Milan, be serene. No, be serene. Oh no, I was hoping that it was gonna be like a nice sweet song, but yeah, I guess they went for that sort of stereotype. He's just shouting at you. But what? I know I feel bad for him, but like maybe I'd try to hear them out, right? If someone was sitting there like singing, screaming a love song at me, it would it would get my attention, at least. Man, I, I, at least he stomped on his phone before it became a giant rock guy, right? Fly away and evilize him. Is it is it just gonna evilize him again, or is it gonna hit someone else? Oh, okay, it's just him again. This time you have extra help. No one will stop you from capturing the love of your life. Just remember, I'll need something in return. L like literally capturing her? Oh god, that's this is gonna be so uncomfortable. <laughs> 
Everyone in the school, panic. Well, this is just like apocalypse, right? You say present. Uh, present? <laughs> <laughs> Bourgeois, Chloe, present. Rule. Her name is Bourgeois, like bourgeoisie. <laughs> God, he's, he's like a King Konger. So you and I can be together forever. Daddy, the monster is back. What's, what's... Oh, because she was mean to him. Isn't it funny that I feel bad for her and not for Chloe at all? Oh no, you go. I'm finding myself a safe place to hide. Girl, you're gonna miss Ladybug in action. This is like such a bad idea, Marinette. Like, yeah, I know that you put the thing in her bag and you're like, oh, she's gonna do a better job of fighting these villains than me. But hey man, if she leaves, you can't really get it back. Or what if she leaves without her bag and you followed her or you didn't follow her and you went home and then the bag at school and she's just off and no one knows where Tiki is. <laughs> but even if she did find it, she'd have to get introduced to Tiki, be okay with the whole situation, feel comfortable fighting and learn. You're just gonna be like, here you go. Go fight an apocalyptic army of stone golems. You've just, just found out you're a superhero because I put something in your bag. You and Ladybug will both be better off without me. You say so. She's running off without the bag. That's what I- that's what I'm saying! My first day of school and I don't even make it past roll call. A day off? Now is, why does he have- about why does he have rollerblades in his locker? What? Homework to do. Flag, claws out! Huh. <sighs> yeah, okay. It's fabulous time. You have no idea who you're dealing with. My daddy, the mayor, will bring in the police- Oh my god, of- Of course. Of course she's the daughter of the mayor. I just- I- I just... Oh, she frustrates me. Don't forget the superhero! Do you- do you forget that he grows, bro? Didn't you mean? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. She's literally just like bitching at everyone. Like, bro, a superhero just jumped in risking their own personal safety to save your f***ing life. And you're here like, <laughs> incompetent superheroes, maybe. Yeah, get out. I don't want you. I know you're here to try to save me, but fuck off. You know what? Actually, I'd rather die than give you the satisfaction of even attempting to save me. You wanted the cavalry? Well, here it is! God. Well, it's nice of them to all avoid the cars. Watch out! I have no idea how they would possibly win this fight. Ugh, all this lovey-dovey stuff is making me sick. Don't worry, little monster. I'm gonna take care of you too. That sounds like, don't worry about feeling sick. I'm gonna murder you. If you can hear me, Ladybug, I can use a little help! What's she waiting for? <laughs> Is she still gonna try to give Tiki to her? Oh my god. That was some quick thinking. That's such strange effects. Oh, now she's decided to, okay. Bro, can you imagine being Tiki in this perspective? I'd be like, oh, oh, now you want me, huh? Okay, fine, sure, I mean, that's fine. We'll go defeat this army of rock things, but you just rejected me, didn't really want to listen, and then locked me in a drawer. I guess they're obligated to help. <laughs> it's a good thing they are. I think I need Ladybug. I knew you'd come around. <laughs> uh, I'm still Is she just like in stasis that whole time? <laughs> I love the wind. Music's kind of banging, all right. What is she? Oh. <laughs> God damn, how strong is that yo-yo? <laughs> okay, so they are gonna fight properly together. I kind of thought that maybe like Cat Noir would be in trouble or captured or whatever. And then Ladybug would come and rescue him, but she'd mostly do it by herself until they did like some big fight together at the end. But it seems like they're together now and they're fighting, which I think is a better situation given that this is the Origins episode. Sorry I was late. Well, lady, have I ever told you you turn my world upside down? <laughs> oh, you're quite the joke. I can't tell if I hate it or love it. But your comedic timing needs work. We gotta get out of here. Where are all the other golems? Like, did this dude just summon three of them and no one else? Weren't there a whole bunch? If we want to save them all, then we go to the source. That one. Gonna actually capture the Akuma this time? I demand my daughter's safe return! Daddy! 
Oh, well, if you demand it, then the supervillain will have to give it to you. You know what? You're welcome to her. I didn't promise. What? Wow. I mean, there's nothing more to be said for how much of a trash bag she is. Even a near-death experience couldn't change her from being an awful human being. But also, I'll tell you, that was not on my miraculous bingo card. Just Chloe being absolutely flung from a giant rock golem's hand on the Eiffel Tower, too? Wait! No, don't attack them! You know it'll only make it worse! I have a new plan, unlike you. Move aside and let the pros do their thing. A you new are... plan of attacking in a different way! He's right, you know. If I'd I mean, those... yeah, yes, you should have captured the Akuma. But you didn't really fail. Like, you won the fight. You just essentially lost on a small technicality. No, he's wrong because without you, she'd no longer be here. And because without us, they won't make it and we'll prove Bro, it. Bro, spitting facts there. <laughs> Is he coughing? Oh my god, that's gross. And what? Why did he collapse? Hawk Moth? That's terrifying! Give me the ladybug earrings and the cat ring now! You've done enough damage to these innocent people. That manipulation, oh my gosh. Without you, none of these innocent victims would be transformed into villains. We will find you, and you will hand us your miraculous! Okay! Well, she's got the, like, speech thing down already. What, what's the- you're gonna- you're gonna flap the Akuma? Yeah, I- wouldn't it just go through it? Why is he screaming? Why did that do anything? They're all like butterf moths, butterflies. Why? Why didn't they just move around the yo-yo? I don't understand what damage that did. It felt more like her yo-yo was a tool for like traveling. I get, and when she spins the thing, it becomes like a shield. But also, I guess a weapon. What I can, I just gotta stop questioning it. Ladybug and Cat Noir will do everything in our power to keep you safe. <laughs> That is definitely one way to win over the Paris public. He's just fallen in love. That's the problem with superheroes. They're too heroic. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm trying to take your loved one away from you. You must snatch their miraculouses so they will be powerless against you. How would the big golem guy like pinch off the earrings? You'll never take me land from me. <laughs> This is also like the worst way to find out that someone has feelings for you. Can you imagine being that girl in his hand? And when he eventually transforms back, she's going to be like, uh, do you have something that you like to tell me? Or scream at me over some intense music. We're surrounded. What do we do now? We can't attack him. Yes, but we know where the Akuma is. In his clenched fist. The one he's holding Milen. Wasn't he holding Chloe in the other one? That's it. We don't separate Stoneheart and Milen. We bring them closer together. I'm so confused there, because in the last one, they managed to get the paper out of his fist by making sure he had to hold both of them at the same time. And now he was doing that already. He was holding Chloe and Milen at the same time. Where's he, he put the paper in his like, I was gonna say rock pocket. And then I realized I could say in his rocket. Oh, bad choice of words, maybe. It's just they don't know it yet. Uh, I'm not really following you, but guess I better trust you. Something tells me that this is how it's gonna be from here on out. <laughs> you know what? There are worse people to just follow, right? Okay, so it is literally King Kong right now. Although I guess the helicopters are not planes. Help! I'm scared of heights! Yeah. That's what you should be scared of right now. Like, not that the like slightest twitch from this guy would just crush you. Super gluing. What is her plan here? I don't know. What in the hell is? What am I supposed to do with this? Is she gonna like jump off the Eiffel Tower? His hand. Get ready. Oh, little smooch. Oh wait, they just made her. Oh gosh, it took me a second to realize that she wasn't just like kissing his shoulder or something. That was like his big rock mouth, and now I feel I feel violated for her. Ah! Why did he like throw her in response to that? Ah! <laughs> All of the way he moved. Oh my god, he batted it back. <laughs> Honestly, quite slight. 
This is you capturing it? Okay. Oh god. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. How did I not think about that? Yeah, couldn't he have saved both of them, maybe? Or use your yo-yo to wrap them up? Oh my god. Okay, sniper. <laughs> my boy is just falling hardcore. I have what might be a very silly question. <laughs> are the, like, Akumas and then the butterflies afterwards, are they just regular butterflies like or, or are they magic butterflies created by hawk moth essentially what i want to know is if hawk moth has like a giant butterfly farm that he uses to source all of the ones that he makes akumas or if maybe he just makes them akumas but then when they're de-akumatized they become butterflies but then they just let them fly out so they're clearly not a danger does that just mean they are regular butterflies and that every time hawk moth makes an akuma and they de-akumatize it they're just releasing another butterfly out into the wilderness and into the ecosystem wouldn't they eventually just have a flood of butterflies that's way too much for the local wildlife. Well, this would be the first use of this, whatever it is. Be beetles, bug, bug, lady, lady, ladybugs. I see. <laughs> Whoa, that's the name of the show. You and Katnawar may have won this battle, but I will win the war. I will get your miraculouses. I will get the... Well, I mean, look, all over the place here, those just look like regular non akumatized butterflies. So is he... Maybe he is literally catching real butterflies, turning them, sending them out, and that way he doesn't care if they come back or not. I will get your miraculouses. I will get the absolute power, and then my secret dream will come true. My secret dream? Is that what he said? My man is being, like, cryptic even when he's monologuing to himself. No one was there to hear that. If he didn't say any of it, nothing would have changed. Hawk Moth is just such a weird guy. I think you two have things to talk about. Hmm? Maybe it would help if you read the lyrics to Ivan's song. Oh god, that's... Bro, putting him on the spot. Wow, it's really beautiful. It's a shame you can't hear them when you scream. I mean, when you... <laughs> it was scary, wasn't it? Well, she seems nice. I'm sorry. I'll be gentle. I don't like that phrase in the suit. Oh, my man blushed. That's so cute. Like us two. Uh oh, you see that? Time to split. See you soon. <laughs> she dodged that like she's been training for it for years. So by the time I biked to the Eiffel Tower, it was all over. Oh, she missed everything? Oh my god. Don't worry. You'll get your scoop eventually. You're right. I see police. Ladybug and oh, they just interview. Ooh. Did that mean nothing? There's just police driving by in the background. I assumed that something was going to happen. You'll get your scoop eventually. You're right. Next target. Ladybug, an exclusive interview. Ooh, <laughs> sounds exciting. I mean, you could just give her an interview. You disobeyed me, Adrian. Take a look at that school. Yes, father. What is it? You will never, I say never, go back there again. Why did his dad make them drive him back out to the school just to give him this speech? Like, you see that? See that school? Look at it. Oh, doesn't it look lovely, Adrian? Oh, look, oh, look at all those happy children. That'll never be you. I say never go back there again. Father, Without no. your bodyguard. He will drop you off and pick you up every day. You know, I couldn't have waited two and a half seconds. <laughs> I feel like this happens so often in videos. Oh, I give this huge speech, I improv stuff, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm proud of myself. Ooh, that's just funny little punchlines. And then they just go, uh, um, you're wrong. Actually, Matthew, about everything. You'll be continuing your music, Chinese, and fencing classes. Yo, his eyes were just zipping around. What the hell? Did you see that? You often pick you up every day. Natalie has offered to organize your new schedule. You'll be continuing your music, Chinese, and fencing classes. Is he having like a seizure? Thank you, Father. No, wait. I want to sit on the gum seat. Oh, ah, oh, they're taking your seat. Lol, that's fun. Uh, you're in the wrong seat. Go on, get lost. All that is necessary for the triumph of evil is that good people do nothing. Is Adrian also going to come in and put them in their place? Or is it just going to be these two? I don't know. I feel like Adrian's going to come in and I was going to say win Marinette over. But I think at least make her think he's not a total douche. I'm not putting up with your crud anymore, Chloe. And neither is anyone else around here. So take your attitude and go on. Get lost. Okay. She kind of ate though. <laughs> Although get lost to that seat there. Where? Oh, he's gonna sit. Oh, uh, yeah. Sit with him. Dude, you want to make friends, right? We'll go talk to Marinette, you know, about the chewing gum. But what should I say to her? Hey, I didn't do it. It was Chloe. Simple. Hey. 
She's being very pointed about her, like, cold shoulder. I was only trying to take the chewing gum off your seat. I swear, I've never been to school before. I've never had friends. It's all sort of new to me. <laughs> Sad boy. Sad boy winning her over. Is it, he's just giving her the umbrella? Oh my gosh. I mean, fair enough. He's probably got like 17,000 servants that will either just run out a new umbrella or come out like carrying their jackets and be like, no, sir, come here. Why did I give them an English accent? Whatever. No, sir, come here. You shan't get wet from the rain. I will use my jacket to protect you. <laughs> I feel like that would hurt. <laughs> See you tomorrow. All right. Why did it get so, like, romantic between them? Hey, I think I might have an idea. <laughs> Crushing. Oh, oh, my God, that's so cute. The way she's so cute. hugging on her face. Oh, my God. Whatever. She's just a friend. Oh, a friend. He's like, oh, my God, I have a friend. <sighs> How is this going to... Oh, I was like, is he going to be around? Excellent choice, Master. Those two are made for each other. Oh, that was such a cute ending. What the heck? Oh my god. I don't know. I feel like I expected something like a little bit sad or just with a dark ending or even just sinister undertones. But no, that was cute as hell. What the heck? They were all so nice. They were all so happy. Everything ended so well. And even that old guy whose name I don't know had a cute little moment with his own miraculous. This is, uh, wholesome. Loved it. I still think that Miraculous Ladybug has just such an interesting world. I don't really know if I've heard of anything where there's even something similar to the concept of an Akuma that like turns people like that and that's even, that's someone's power. It's very strange and very creative and I feel like, yeah, quite a few questions have been answered here. I have several more, but at least I feel like I'm finally understanding things and understanding the dynamics. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.